Hey guys, so today I'm doing my June favorites. Can you believe it is already the end of June? I'm super excited. July is my birthday month. July is when I'm going to London. I am super excited. This is going to be a fantastic upcoming month. But I have some products that I wanted to share with you guys that I have been loving and reaching for a lot this past month. And the first thing I have to share with you guys is the Galaxy Milk. This is the Illuminating Beauty Oil from Connie. And this is cruelty free and it is vegan and it is beautiful. So this is a liquid, natural, organic, vegan um, highlighter. <laughs> vegan highlighter. So it is so awesome. I have been using this a lot. It comes in like a little dropper tube. So what I normally do is I will shake this up a little bit and I just apply it on the back of my hand just kind of like that. And then I'll take a beauty blender or my Real Techniques um, little sponge. I'll bounce it up and down and then I just kind of apply it on my cheeks even though I didn't really need to do that just now. But this is so gorgeous. I don't recommend putting it on top of makeup. I typically apply it um, before putting powder on after foundation, but I seriously love this stuff. Like, look at that. It is so gorgeous. It gives a nice natural glow to the face, and I'm obsessed. Obsessed. And I like that it has natural ingredients. So, yeah. Taking my little e.l.f. wipes. This is another thing that I have really... Um, I found this month and been liking. It's the e.l.f. Makeup Remover Cleansing Claws. These are like $3. You can get it from Target. And I just like having these on hand for videos, swatches, cleaning up my vanity, things like that. These are pretty awesome. So yeah, I have one of those on hand for this video. Um, the next two highlights, I've just been very highlighty in June. Um, one is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Soft and Gentle, and this stuff is gorgeous. I love this. This used to be the thing on YouTube a long time ago. Everyone would rave about this. This was like the holy grail product everyone needed from MAC, and I picked it up um, on one of my birthdays in Myrtle Beach from like a, what are they called, CCO, but um, yeah, this stuff is gorgeous. I love wearing this. I love the glow that it gives your face and it is a gorgeous shade. Love that. But then the other highlight that I have been wearing pretty like 20 out of the 30 days or however many days there are is the Becca Moonlight Shimmering Skin Perfector Press. I mean Moonstone. It's a Moonstone. And this is a pale gold shade and it's gorgeous. I have been wearing this so often. I mean, I have a lot of highlighters lately, and I even have the Anastasia Nicole Guerrero, which definitely has more of the shimmer sparkle, but this in Moonstone, it is life. It gives me life. I love it. It is so nice, so like pigmented and smooth and creamy, and I've been wearing this a lot, either on its own when I don't want to do a liquid highlight, or I pair these two together and... I've been loving what my cheeks have been looking like this past month and I wanted to share that with y'all because it brings me life. It brings me some highlight life. But yeah, those, I'm, I've been loving those and they're definitely like old school now thinking about highlight products. Um, the next thing is a blush and this is from Bare Minerals. This is the Get Red or the Ready Blush in the one and I've been loving this a lot lately too. This has just been like a pretty like neutral pinky blush and I've just been wearing it a lot and that's pretty much what I'm gonna say. I've been wearing it a whole lot. It is just a natural everyday blush that is just easy to apply, stays on pretty well um, and I've been loving it a lot. So the Bare Minerals, the Ready Blush and the reason why I got that one was due to Makeup by Tiffany D. She was actually raving about that um, a year or two ago. I can't remember when. She doesn't really talk about that blush 
that more, that often anymore, but I have reached for it a lot this past month and definitely fallen back in love with it. Then I have another kind of highlighty product. This is from Burberry. This is the Fresh Glow Luminous Base or Nude Radiance and Luminous Fluid Base and Nude Radiance, which is number one. This is gorgeous packing packaging, like seriously, and it comes with a pump. And I love this stuff. I got this last year in the beginning of the year. I am almost done with it. I am like right halfway here and Burberry is not cruelty free but I have been wearing this a lot underneath my foundation kind of like as a luminous primer base and it has been doing a great job on my skin. I've been getting compliments on YouTube the days that I am wearing this underneath my foundation just saying that my skin looks glowy and things like that and that definitely I would say is this and my hourglass dim light powder ambient powder I've been wearing those two a lot loving them and yeah this is this is good stuff the next thing is just kind of like a basic primer it is the Too Faced Primed and Poreless Skin Smoothing Face Primer I am almost done with this baby too I am like literally right there and this stuff is like 30 bucks I have used I think this is like my third or fourth bottle of this primer and I love it. It is definitely an everyday primer. It helps with my pores. I don't have really deep pores but this definitely does a good job for me. It does a fantastic job at packing those babies in and I'm loving it. This is an everyday primer. I am on the market for a cheaper version, a drugstore version. I think I just picked up the Wet n Wild. This is the face primer photo focus. So I'll see kind of how I'm liking the Wet n Wild one over the Too Faced, but the Too Faced one is definitely a favorite of mine and a go-to whenever I just want a primer that I know will work. Then the last thing is a palette that I have played with a on this month. It is from Kat Von D. This is the Alchemist palette. It keeps going in stock, out of stock every now and then. I got it when it first launched and fell in love with it. This has four like, what are they called? Holographic duochrome kind of shades. One is pink opal, one is blue violet amethyst. Well, ultra violet amethyst. I don't know what I'm saying. It's upside down. Then you have blue sapphire and green emerald, and I've been wearing this, guys, I've been wearing this on top of a black eyeshadow, and it has been looking on point. I've been loving using this. I use it as eyeshadow mainly, but I do apply it on the lips, which is awesome. This product is safe to apply on the lips. Not all eyeshadows are, so be sure to look out and look into the ingredients of your products if you are going to apply it on your lips. But I have been using this a ton, really loving it, really like the formulation of them. Um, when you apply it to the lips, it doesn't feel too gritty, which some eyeshadows, if you do apply it on, your lipstick will look gritty, and these don't and are gorgeous. I will give you guys some quick swatches of them. So, there you go. They're not the best swatches. I kind of just put them all together. But you can definitely see the different shades in them. But these guys, if you can't, if you have this, you need to be using it. And if you don't have it and it comes back on the market, I jump on it. Even though my swatches look a little hot mess. But this stuff is good. So other than that, um, I don't really have any lifestyle kind of favorites for this month. I, let's see, Netflix, they just put a whole bunch of seasons on for like Supernatural. They put um, The Night Shift. I talked about that last month. They do and are still, oh my god, I just took a glance at this and it's gorgeous. They are still um, making episodes of that. I thought it was like done. But literally, I saw it was like going to be on TV one night for like a new episode. And they put a new season on Netflix. So I've been watching that. And I've been watching Jane the Virgin finish that season up just now. Other than that, not too much. I uh, definitely have some lifestyle favorites for you guys next month. Uh, so yeah. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Those are my favorites. I'm just in a really perky, happy mood, which is great because I was talking about products that I love. And I'm just really looking forward to July. Again, birthday month, London. It will be fantastic. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye!